What is up people? This is Pratik from Tectonic Tech Reviews back with another video. So this is the follow up video for the first part. So this is the second video guys on the tutorial how to root Moto G 2015. So I've already showed you how to unlock the bootloader. So this is the second part which involves on how to flash a recovery onto the phone. So to do this you'll need two file guys. So the first file that you'll need is the TWRP file and the second one that you'll need is the super user file. These are small files around 5 to 6 megabytes and all you need to do is download them. I'll leave the links down below in the description for the files and also for the first video if you have missed me or if you did not catch me. And that's it guys with no further delay let's get it started. So just hit on the links in the description and they'll open a tab and just download these two files and after downloading them you need to go into the C drive which you'll find in the my computer section and just go into the program files x86 and find for the minimal adb and fastboot file and click on that file once that file opens all you need to do is drag the twrp file into the minimal adb and fastboot file or just cut and paste the twrp file into the minimal adb fastboot file and after that you need to connect your phone to the system and all you need to do is place the super user file or the zip file which you have downloaded into the internal memory of the phone and after placing the super user zip file into the internal memory of the phone all you need to do is unplug the phone from the system or the pc and after that what you need to do is open the minimal adb fastboot file again and after opening that file all you need to do is hold shift and right click and after that you'll see few options and you'll need to select the open command window here option once you select that option a command prompt will be open and after that all you need to do is uh, go to the twrp file which you have already placed in the minimal adb and fastboot file and select that file and uh, copy the name of that file you can do this by hitting f2 after selecting that file and select the name just copy the name of the file and after copying the name of the file all you need to do is power off your phone once the phone is powered off you need to boot into the fast boot mode so to do this you need to hit the power button and hit the volume button down for three to four seconds and the phone boots into the fast boot mode and after that all you need to do is connect the phone to the pc or the laptop through the help of the micro usb to usb cable so all you need to do is now just open the command prompt which was opened in the background and you need to type few stuff so listen to me carefully what you need to type so now you need to type just fast boot space boot space the copied twrp file you just need to paste it there and after pasting it there just hit enter and after hitting enter the phone will uh, reboot into the recovery mode and after that you will see a startup guide and on that you will see keep here only button or the tab just hit on the tab and the main twrp recovery opens and after that just hit on install on the top left corner and scroll down and find for the super su file or the super user file uh, and just hit on that file and some few wordings and a swipe button pops out on the screen and all you need to do is just swipe it as i'm showing you guys and just swipe hold on the button or hold on the tab and just swipe it once you swipe it the uh, it will show that the process has been successfully done once it has shown that it is successfully done just hit on reboot and after hitting on reboot the phone will reboot and after the phone has successfully reboot and uh, you are into the uh, device you will need to find for the super user file or uh, i'm sorry you need to find for the super user app and just hit on the app once the app opens it will ask you it will ask you for your permissions all you need to do is hit no thanks that's it hit on no thanks and once you open the super user file successfully on your phone you have successfully installed the twrp recovery onto the phone so on the next video i'll be explaining you guys how to flash a custom rom so stay tuned guys it will be uploaded tomorrow this is prateek signing off from tectonic tech reviews peace out